14 of us on the airplane? None survived. Me. I'm the only one. I'm the sole survivor. George suffered third degree burns on nearly half his body, with the fingers of his left hand completely burned to the bone. Doctors also treated him for facial and skull fractures and a broken back. Doctors put George's chances of survival at less than 10%. And I was reduced to patches of red and white and bones. While in the ICU, George had two near-death experiences. I was walking off of a boat onto a bridge with hundreds of other people. I remember thinking, I'm halfway to where I'm going. I've got to turn around and go back. I've got too much to live for. I can't die yet. George didn't die, but he suffered through 36 operations, consisting of reconstructive surgeries and painful skin grafts. I found that with myself and many of the fellows with whom I shared some very intimate moments, the 18 months I was at the burn ward, that if we were going to survive, we were going to have to reach down way deep inside to a place that I personally never knew existed and pull that out, not just once, but many, many, many times. You dig down, you pitch your teeth, and you say to yourself, I tell you, no, no way I'm going to die. I'm not quitting. I'll be damned if I'm, getting, I'm, I'm giving up. And we saw it all around us every day. Guys quitting and giving up. They were victims. They made a choice to die. And when you're sick, dying is real easy. It's a living, it's hard. The first steps George took in his search for purpose was to find the man who had saved his life. I was imagining this for all the years, even when I was still in the hospital. That someday I knew I had to find this man to try to tell him somehow, thank you for saving my life. We didn't hear from him for quite a while. And on the ranch, every time I'd go up there, I'd, I'd think of him. I'd sit on the stump and have a smoke and just think about him. Four years after the crash, George finally found the Davio Ranch. Oh, how nice it is to see you. <laughs> oh, great. My hero. Oh, my God. I love you, Bob. I love you, too. So we went in the house, and I had a, a fifth of gin beam. And boy, we made good work out of that. <laughs> My values changed as a result of the crash from the standpoint of what I used to believe were important. It's a complete metamorphosis. How are you going to get there? Who's going to be on your team? After leaving the burn ward, George Burke remained in the Air Force for another five years. Today, he gives motivational talks to survivor groups across the country.